Hello loves, it's your girl Pink Vintage here, aka Lynn. And first and foremost, thank you all so much for stopping by my channel. Secondly, I did want to share with you all my new Gucci bag that I got for my birthday. So January is my birth month. And for the whole month of January, I've been doing a lot of shopping, a lot more than usual, which is why I'm getting back active on my handbag game and posting and updating you dolls. But this is my favorite bag in my collection right now. So I had to share her with you guys. And I say this little guy, that's what I call this bag, but she's like a girl boy. <laughs> I don't know what to, what to think of this bag because this is only the second week of owning this bag. I bought this bag literally for my birthday, um, which is on the 16th of January. So I'm just trying to figure out, this was in the men's section. It rang up as men on my receipt. And it's so, she's, it's like this little dainty, edgy look that I can't see a man wearing, but who knows, like who am I to decide? <laughs> I, just, I just buy the stuff that I like and wear it. I can't really categorize or compartmentalize the design but that's what i love about gucci as a brand um their items seem pretty unisex to me um so yeah this little guy girl is my favorite bag she's my birthday bag um i was gonna get the palm springs mini um from louis 444 dollars cheaper and the craftsmanship was better. That's my opinion. And I used to be a Louis girl. I've rocked with Louis since my early 30s until very, very recent. So, um, and I'm 43 years old now. So I can say that um, after rocking with Louis, um, authentic bags since early 30, but, um, you know, very questionable authentic bags <laughs> since my 20s. You know, so I've been um, a Louis fan forever. And I just feel like the craftsmanship and the quality has changed. I don't like the fact that a lot of their bags are made in the USA. So I have a lot of other things. And I don't like the fact that they did a price increase during and after the pandemic when a lot of their loyal fans were barely scraping up money to enjoy luxury items. Just a lot of my gripes with them. But I guess if you're going to, you know, consider yourself a luxury handbag splurger, then you have to take the good with the bad, whether there is an inflation energy in the economy or what pandemic, it doesn't matter. If you're going to spend your money, you're going to spend your money. So I decided to pull back my coins from them and I've gone in their stores maybe four times since the pandemic. And one time I had to like be on a wait list, stand in the long line. They were pretty much trying to like quarantine their store and stuff. This was in 2021 and I just couldn't bring myself to buy anything. Went back again last year in 2022 <clears throat> and went back for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. I just can't do it. I can't do the 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 price increase. The hike was just a little bit too much for me um, because I turned around and I just did a video. And I spent like a little over 3000 in TJ Maxx, um, you know, recently. And I have two crossbody bags, one black, one brown, and I have a duffel. So it's like, you know, I took that money, which would have been the full price of one of the bags that I wanted. And I got three different things. So it's just about thinking smarter. And of course, for my birthday, I did do a little splurge. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I'm going to be posting more. And if not, you're just passing by. That's fine too. Thank you so much. But I really wanted to share this with anybody who was looking for a cute little luxury small bag that um, you can wear as an everyday bag. You want it to stay under $2,000 and you want it the quality and craftsmanship that you know you love. Um, let's get into what I have inside. Now, comparing it to the Palm Springs, they have like a leather um, reverse triangle right here. Um, and it's not a full triangle. It kind of goes over like this and then it triangles down. And it says Louis Vuitton. That piece 
on the bag that I was considering purchasing because I said I've been in the store a few times. So when I went in January, that's what I was considering getting. I, you know, decided 24, 44 wasn't that big of a deal because I did want a mini little small backpack. And that's what they were, you know, advertising in the mini Palm Springs. Was very glad to see it in stock in the store. I think that because of their price increase, more items are readily available than they have ever been in the past because I've never been able to walk in the store and see this in person. So this is my first time seeing it um, in the store. I've seen a few people out and about in the world with it. And I noticed right away that that black tab was crooked. And I was on FaceTime with my girlfriend and she was like, that is, that is crooked. You're, you're absolutely right. It's crooked. So wasn't going to spend $24.40 for um, horrible craftsmanship. The sales associate was nice. She did offer to order me a bag. I declined because I didn't know what kind of craftsmanship was going to be ship, uh, shipped and sent to me. So this little baby was right next door in Gucci. $1,980, same year I was born. So it was all a sign, it was kismet, it was meant to be. Um, no, but seriously, let me show you guys the details first. This is what the buckle looks like on the um, strap. And you can take this strap off, even though I haven't mastered the art of removing it. Um, so I'll just leave it on here, but it has a strong, sturdy spring. This brass will be shiny and beautiful forever. Um, and then if I wanted to attach a keychain, I could. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite keychain from Juicy Couture. And I've had this since I used to work there. So this is like almost, this is 10 years old. I just thought about it. So let's see what it looks like on here. And this bag was the display bag, guys. See how cute that is? It's kind of annoying and unnecessary, but it is, you know, something that you can consider doing if you purchase this bag. You know, putting a little charm on there. I wouldn't want something this long and bulky and noisy, um, but you know, it is food for thought. <laughs> Um, but what I have noticed about Gucci as a brand overall is I don't know if their items are hand stitched like Louis or if they are machine woven, but I've never seen a mistake in a pattern on a Gucci. On a Louis, I have multiple times. So, you know, I'm not trying to act brand new or bash them because... I'm kind of phasing away from them because all of my small leather goods and accessories are still and probably will still be from them. But I'm just saying, okay? Now, this bag was on display. There was no peeling, no wear and tear, no signs of anything being out of the ordinary. So um, I do feel like Gucci for the win, you know? Interlocking old school vintage G's here. And it's, um, raised so you can feel it. I love this material. It is the same material that my spouse slash babies, <laughs> and I call her my spouse because we're pretty much an old married couple. Her vintage duffel that she had when we first met is made out of. It's the same material. So it's that vinyl filling material that um, is probably waterproof, but of course the care instructions suggest that you don't get it wet. This is what the back looks like as far as the buckle. Um, um, not buckle, I'm sorry, the belt can go through here. Um, not the buckle, of course, the, the buckle piece wouldn't fit through here, but the belt strap itself, if you wanted to wear it, is a bag on your wrist. You know, which slide right through there. Um, and this is, again, the front and I opened it just for you know measurement now what i like about this is even if i took everything out of it it still has the same look to it so what i have in here doesn't make such a huge difference but i do have my um key my car key and my house key and this is like stuffed in there it's on a keychain which 
if I wasn't scared that my key would fall, I would literally do it like this. And maybe one day I will if I need this front pocket for something else. Um, but this is hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. And this is the linen light color that I love so much. And the other comparison, the, and this is a comparison, not a comparison video to the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini because this one was just released in, again, 2023, January. So two, well, we're, this is the last week of the month. So this bag is three weeks old on the Gucci website and in the store. This particular bag to me is definitely the competitor to the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. And as you guys can see, I kind of have to wiggle and finesse my keys back inside of there. Um, but the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini zipper pocket is pointless from what everybody says who owns it. I don't own it, so I don't know. But a lot of people say it's stiff and it's hard to get into until the leather breaks down and they've owned the bag for some time. All right. Whew. I feel like this was a long time just to get to the bag. So sorry about all the talking if it took forever to get there. But um, I'm just so impressed by this bag. I could probably talk about it for a long time, uh, longer than I'm going to. But of course, you can wear it like this. So when I'm shopping, I typically have the back zipped and I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like if both compartments were open. But when I'm shopping, I have the back zipped and usually one of my phones, which I'm filming on one, is kind of like sticking out of the front pocket like this and I'm on speaker and it's like this. I don't do wireless headphones or anything like that because they make my head hurt and I think I'm just uh, a digital you know girl only to a certain extent I'm still analog I mean I would still be walking with the wired headphones if they made them um but yeah so speakerphone walking with my phone stuck out like this and the back zipped that's how I'm usually out in the world with this bag this is the iPhone 14 and so I do have two iPhone 14s, one that's red and one is purple. This purple one is my work phone. The red one is the phone that I talk on to my spouse, to my family, to my friends. So that number is exclusive and that is what I'm using to film this video. So it's the same exact phone. And that's what I usually have in the front pocket. So I have a few receipts in here now mainly home goods and tj maxx because i spend so much time in those stores and then i have my business card case and this is where i keep all of my business debit cards discount cards gift cards um i have some macy's gift cards that i didn't even freaking know i had um Nordstrom gift cards, stuff that I've gotten from the stores and just forgot they were in there. So I need to use these. And I'm just looking for the first time because I was thinking to myself, I was like, that is a Bloomingdale's logo. And then in the back is my Gucci um, car case, which is where I keep my driver's license, my debit card, my debit card for my other bank account, my debit card from other bank Okay, love. Sorry about that. It's a little bit darker now because I turned the big light off. I literally ate dinner. I made a homemade turkey burger and everything in the middle of filming this video. <laughs> so I'm using the light, the ring light. The ring light, the natural light is gone because it's darker now and my big light I just turned it off so i was like i'm just gonna share what's in the back pocket really fast and this is the layout and i am so sorry it got so dark but i couldn't get the light back right um even when i turned the overhead light on it didn't look good until i did what i'm doing now so lotion um aveno stress relief moisturizing lotion calms and relaxes 
Um, this lotion isn't my favorite favorite, but I like it and it's in there. And I use this, but my go-to for my skin is literally just olive oil and I mix it with essential oils like rosemary, tea tree, and lavender, like a couple of drops of all those. Put it on my hands, put it on my hair, put it on my face. I never really use a whole bunch of products, especially stuff that are like carcinogens. I'm not saying that this is a carcinogen, but this has been in my bag. Um, I've had this for probably about six months or seven months. Um, it has oat in it, which was one of the reasons I decided to try it. It irritates me a little bit sometimes, and my skin is just so sensitive that I really can't use anything. So that's why I use either shea butter, olive oil, stuff like that. Not because I don't like other products, but because my skin doesn't. So, um, my trusty little um, mini pochette. And this is the perfect makeup bag if you're carrying a small handbag like this. Um, my eyeliner mascara <laughs> like my eyeliner um doll face lipstick burt's b i always use i keep a mac with me in case i want to change my um, lip and then i always have a few sample perfumes in here um when it comes to perfume i used to buy the chanel utandra um travel set now i just buy the chanel utandra big bottle and i can make myself a sample using these little guys this one is actually not the chanel this one is the um the marley so it's the delina and it's like a 300 dollars bottle perfume so this little sample every time i go to nordstrom i make for myself this is the chanel tundra one and then i have my pills which are only allergy pills i I think I have two anxiety pills my mom gave me this summer <laughs> and I am too anxious to take them. I'm too nervous and stressed out to take an anxiety pill, so go figure. <laughs> but um, a hair tie and um, an eyeliner, the Anastasia um, Brow Definer. So that's it. Yeah, that's all that I carry in here. Um, occasionally, I will keep a little bit of cash in here. Um, speaking of which, I did get some money from, um, my girlfriend sold one of her vehicles and I was in charge of the transaction while she was gone. And she was so stressed out and nervous, like I couldn't sell the car, I just sold my Lexus. But anyway, so <laughs> I sold a vehicle for her. So these are the funds and um, yeah, she is, a control freak and i hope she's watching this so she can don't call her one but i call her one all the time her face but she thinks that i'm like two years old and i'm 43 so but i like that i like the fact that she does everything for me so i really can't do anything <laughs> my little natural um because my skin is so sensitive because i have so many food allergies and because i'm just <sighs> like allergic to the world. I carry this. This is a natural antibiotic um, and like an antifungal. So I like to spray this up my nose if I go someplace and people are like doing a lot of hacking and sneezing and coughing and stuff. And um, I spray my eyes if they get, um, if I have any allergies or whatever. So this is like um, the balm is called silver. Like it's a natural silver, so. <laughs> Um, that one is good. And the last thing I have in here, some sample perf um, makeup from Sephora because I was trying to um, get a new makeup. Um, it's not new, but I wanted a new color because they always match me with something that's too dark or too light, which is why I don't wear makeup anymore. Because it's like, okay, my skin looks better, you know, just my natural skin you know what i mean so yes this is um hopefully a sample that will look right on my complexion not trying to look too dark not trying to look too light i definitely don't like any of the colors that the sample um streaks that she applied to my cheeks were <clears throat> so i'm gonna see how this one looks 
um, right here. So yeah, so that's everything that's in the back. I took it all out. And then the front, I already showed you guys that before I ate dinner. Um, yeah, so this bag and the tag is in the back. That's how you know that you have an authentic one if you purchase it on the free love market. And again, this bag just, uh, it was just released um, this month. So not a lot of them. I haven't seen any on the pre-love pre market like Fashion File, The Real Real, or um, Tracy's new website is for Stolly or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, um, Poshmark, Macariac. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any bootleg versions of it yet. Um, but I'm sure they're making them. But I will say that the tag right here um, with the serial number, which I was telling you guys in my other video, all Gucci serial is on this leather tag. And then this is the tag that says Gucci. So yeah, so just a great all around bag. I did get like a Gucci dust bag with this bag. Um, and the hobo bag that I purchased as well. Um, from New Jersey. They gave me a dust bag with that. And so I like my little Gucci, um, not dust bag. It's like a shopping bag. It's white linen cloth shopping bag. Kind of looks like the interior of this bag, but it's not this fancy. But yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I really feel like Gucci is becoming my favorite brand and the price point is still affordable. Plenty of bags and backpacks for less than two grand plenty of them um and i'm gonna do a short to show you guys the backpack that my um girlfriend had originally purchased for me and now she's carrying it because it was way too masculine again this bag is in the men's collection and it's the gucci multi-function and it is 1980 dollars it looks like a backpack and that's what i call it but it's really a crossbody or a belt bag. So yeah, and I will stand up and show you guys what it looks like on and on with that, but I'm sleepy. <laughs> Not only that, but it's just, it's too dark. So um, maybe in another video, I'll show it on with some outfits and then you guys can see. Um, and yeah, and this was my little cute little outfit that I could not leave the house in because my girlfriend doesn't like me to wear tights. So yes, guys, I, I can't wait to you guys meet her. She is a hoot and she does not sugarcoat anything. And she is turning me into a true divine lady. Because <laughs> at, at one point, I feel like I went from a Southern belle to just, I don't know, but uh, wait until you guys hear the update. For those of you who are here for that for the personal personality and not just the handbags. You guys, you, you guys know what I mean. But for those of you who stopped by to see what this bag was about, thank you so much for watching. Peace and namaste.